Hey everybody, Andrew Zimmern here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is part three of our gooey duck video. These are beauties from Fathom Seafoods, fathomseafood.com. You can order them. Uh, this is a farmed gooey duck. These are uh, wild gooey duck. They are all alive, as you can see. We had these shipped to us a day or two ago. If you want to know how to clean a gooey duck, check out video number one. If you want to know how to do a sashimi platter of gooey duck for your friends, and it, trust me, sounds complex, super, super easy, check out the second video. Uh, this is usually what I do uh, on the last day when I have my gooey duck. Um, I will slice uh, six, seven ounces uh, per person, get some salt and sugar ready, a little bit, a couple cloves of garlic, a bunch of scallions, I slice them into two inch, inch and a half pieces to saute with the gooey duck. Um, I'm gonna cut this ginger into thin slices because I am, I will, it's horrible English, be cooking my aromatics uh, together in a little bit of oil. Um, I'm not using soy sauce. I'm going to use uh, some chili bean paste, uh, Tobin John. It's fermented. It's got, uh, it's chilies and fermented soybeans. I'm just going to use a tablespoon of that. You don't need much, it's very, very strong. Uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar just to caramelize and bring out the, the mojo in those. And I've got a wok that's preheating this is gonna happen very, very fast, uh, so I should get a bowl. My wok is preheating. I pump it up all the way, and I just add, you know, a thin drizzle of peanut oil. I just wanna coat the bottom of that wok. And when it's smoking, I add my ginger and garlic. My Tobin John, I want it to caramelize. My gooey duck, I just want that to sear briefly in there. Some of it is getting a nice hard sear. Sprinkle of salt, larger sprinkle of sugar, and then literally, It's that simple. I just want the juices from the scallion and the clam to loosen that Tobanjan, caramelize. I mean, you can even see some of the clam is still raw. Just give that one more toss. Turn that off, and I want this, I want my, yes, I'm sure there are some clam pieces in there that are just cooked all the way through. But the vast majority of them have raw spots on them or they're more medium rare. I'll point some of that out to you. Finish this with just a little Fresh scallion, because cooked scallion and fresh scallion has a much different flavor. I love that acidic allium punch of a little bit of fresh scallion. This right here, one of the easiest stir fries that you will ever do, but it's the same principle as with other stir fries, right? Scorch your aromatics, put your ingredients in in the order in which you want them to present on the plate, right? So I wanna make sure my scallions were cut the same way that the gooey duck was. You can see here, there are pieces of gooey duck here that just have a little char on the edges, but are essentially raw or just warm through. And then we have other pieces of gooey duck that are scorched and cooked. And with the scallions, the salt, sugar, the Toban John, Mm. Perfect. So important to remember, 
with clams. You can serve them raw. You can fly them through a warm kitchen like this, where we don't really have a lot of time spent in the pan. They're not cooked all the way through. Or with some clams, you cook them forever and make chowder. This is so, so delicious. Thank you so much for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Video one, gooey duck history and how to clean them. Video two, a Japanese preparation, easy for your whole family. Number three, what to do with the ends and the trim of the gooey duck. Make a quick stir fry, easiest thing in the whole world. You have most of the, you should have these ingredients on hand if you love to cook, especially if you love to cook Chinese food like I do. So, so, so simple, so delicious. The absolute perfect meal. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe, send this video to your friends, and enjoy.